Hello everyone. So today we'll be doing equations and inequalities. So question one is 4x plus 12 equals to 36 and we need to find out x plus 3. So 4x plus 12 equals to 36. So if we take 4 as common, this will become 4 bracket x plus 3 equals to 36. And x plus 3 would be equal to, equal to 36 divided by 4, that is 9. So option C is correct. Question 2, 7x plus 10 equals to 44. Now what will be 7x minus 10 equal to? Now over here we have plus 10. Now if we subtract both sides by 20, so this would become 7x minus 10 and this will become 44 minus 20, hence 24. So the correct answer is uh, option D. Now you can also, now that's a longer method that you calculate uh, 7x, 44 minus uh, 10 would be 34. And again, if you want to find out 7x plus 10, uh, minus 10, so 7x minus 10 equals to 34 minus 10. Again, it will be 24. Now 4x plus 13 equals to 7 minus 2x. What's the value of x? So 4x plus 13 equals to 7 minus 2x. If 2 goes over here, so it will be 4x plus 2x, it will be 7 minus 13. So 6x equals to minus 6, x equals to minus 1. Now x minus 4 equals to 9, so x would be equal to 13. So what will be x squared minus 4? So 13 square minus 4 square. So 169 minus, um, no, not sorry, it's not square. It's x square minus 4. So 169 minus 4 will equal to 165. So x square would be 13 square minus 4. 169 minus 4 is 165. Now ax minus b. equals to c minus dx. Now what is the value of x? So we need to find out the value of x in terms of a, b, c and d. So this would be ax plus dx equals to c plus b. And if we take x as common, this would be a plus d equals to c plus b. So x equals to c plus b whole over a plus d. So x in terms of a, b, c and d would be c plus b or b plus c divided by a plus d, so option A is correct. Now, if we have one over three x plus one over six x plus one over nine x equals to 33, so what is the value of x? So let's suppose, let's keep it simple. So if we take x as common, so this would be one over three plus one over six plus one over nine. If you don't want to do that, it's, it's, it's okay. Now what will be the LCM? So 3, 6, 9. So LCM would be 3 ones are, 3 twos are, 3 threes are, 2 ones are, 3 over here, 3, 3 twos are, 6, 6 is are, 18. So 3, 6 are, 6 threes are, and 9 twos are. X equals to 33. X will equal to 33 multiplied by 18 divided by 11. So 6 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 2, 11. 3 into 18 is 54. So option D is correct. Now 3X minus 4 equals to 11. And I want to find out, so the, we need to find out the value of 3X minus 4 square. So simply it would be 11 square. So 3X minus 4 is 11. So 11 square is 121. Now 64 is to power 12 equals to 2 is to power a minus 3. Now we need to find out the value of a, but look closely that we, the base over here is 2. So we need to make the base over here uh, 2 as well. So 2 raised to power 6 is actually equal to 64. We can also find out like this as well. So 2 raised to power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to power 3 is 64 because 2 raised to power 3 is 8. 8 into 8 is 64. So 2 raised to power 6 is 64. So 2 raised to the power 6 raised to the power 12 equals to 2 a raised to the power minus 3. Now we need to multiply these two numbers. So if we have a raised to the power n whole raised to the power m, so this will become a n m. So this would be 2 raised to the power 72 equals to 2 raised to the power a minus 3. Now the base are equal, so we can equate the 
exponents. So 72 equals to a minus 3, hence a equals to 75. So 3 will go over here. So 72 plus 3 is 75, in which option E is correct. Now, if the average of 3a and b, so 3a plus b divided by 2 is less than 50, and a is twice as b, so if a is twice as b, so if a is a, then b would be a upon 2. Because a is twice as b, if b is a upon 2, then a would be a. So 3a plus 0.5b divided by 2 is less than 50. So 3a plus 0.5b multiplied by 4. So it's not 3a plus b, it's 3a plus 4b. So 3a plus 2b, now it will be 2b. Why? Because 0.4 multiplied by b is 2b divided by 2 is less than 50. Now, we can also write like this as well. So uh, it won't be B, sorry, it would be A. Now we have, we have established the fact that B is equal to 0 0.5A. So this would be 0.5A. So this would not be 2B, this would be 2A. So 5A is less than 100. A is less than 20. So this is, A is less than 20. So this holds true. Now, what is the largest possible integer for value of a? So the largest possible integer would be 19 because 19 is less than 20 and it's also the integer. So option D is correct. 1 over a minus b equals to 5. So 1 whole over a minus b equals to 5. So we can write 1 equals to 5a minus 5b. Now, what's the value of A? So the value of A would be 1 plus 5B equals to 5A. A equals to 1 over 5 plus 5B over 5, uh, uh, 5B over 5. So 5, 5 cancel. So the answer would be A equals to B plus 1 over 5. Option C is correct. Okay, so if X equals to 3A plus 7, and y equals to 9a square. Now, what is y in terms of x? So we can write a equals to x minus 7 divided by 3. So we can write y equals to 9 x minus 7 square divided by 3 square because a is raised to power 2 over here. Now, x minus 7 divided by 3 square can be written as x minus 7 square divided by 3 square and 3 square obviously is equal to 9. So 9, 9 and 9 cancels and we get y equals to x minus 7 raised to power 2. So the correct answer would be A. Now 4y minus 3x equals to 5. What is the smallest integer value of x for which y is greater than 100? Now we can write this y equals to 5 plus 3x divided by 4. Now if y needs to be greater than 100, then the numerator, the numerator needs to be more than 400 because it is being divided by 4. So if the numerator is more than 400, then y will going to fulfill this condition that y is greater than 100. So one thing for sure, 5 plus 3x should be greater than 400. Now, if we solve this equation, now let's let's make our life simple. So 5 plus 3x equals to 400. x will equal to 395 divided by 5. So 395 divided by 5. Sorry, 395 divided by 3. So 3x will be equal to 400 minus 5. And x would be equal to 395 divided by 3. So if we divide this, this would be 13. 3 13s are 39 and 3 1s are. So 131 point something. Now obviously we need to find out the smallest integer. So the smallest integer, so one thing for sure that x needs to be one more than 131. So it needs to be more than 131. So if we divide 395 by 3, we get 131 point something. So there's a remainder. So one thing for sure that if uh, we need to find out the smallest integer, so the smallest integer would be the immediate next number um, 
after 131. So it would be 132. Now a plus b equals to 13, a minus b equals to 13. We need to find out the value of b. So if you subtract both of these equations, so this a would become minus, this minus b will become positive b and 13 minus 13. So a and a cancels out, we get 2b equals to 0 and b equals to 0. So b, we know that equals to 0 and 13 is more than 0. So option b is correct, that quantity b is more than quantity a. Over here, so 2a raised to power minus 1 divided by 2 raised to power b plus 1 equals to 2 raised to power 3. So 2 raised to power a minus 1, this will become minus b minus 1 equals to 2 raised to power 3. So 2 raised to power a minus b minus 2 equals to 2 raised to power a minus b minus 2 equals to 2 raised to power 3. So a minus b minus 2 equals to 3. And now we have a minus 2 equals to 5. Now if you have a minus b equals to 5, definitely a needs to be more than b. a needs to be more than b so that we can have a positive number. So quantity A would be greater than quantity B. So option A is correct. Now 4x square equals to 3x. So we can write this as 4x square minus 3x equals to 0. And if we take x as common, this would become 4x minus 3 equals to 0. So one number can be of x that is 0 and the other number would be 3 by 4. Now both the numbers are less than 1. So quantity B is greater than quantity A, hence option B is correct. Now A plus B, then B plus C, then C plus A. If you add all of them up, A plus B plus B plus C plus C plus A, we will going to have 2A plus 2B plus 2C. That, is, that will be equal to 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. Now if you divide both sides by 2, we will, having, we will be having A plus B plus C equals to 3. And now we need to find out the average of A plus B plus C or a average of A, B and C. So we have three digits. So this would be divided by three, divided by three. So this is your average. Average will equal to one. So option C is correct. 3x minus 4y equals to 5, 5 and y equals to 2x. So 3x minus 4y equals to 5 and y equals to 2x. So if we substitute y with 2x, this will become 3x minus 4, 2x equals to 5. 3x minus 8x equals to 5. So minus 5x equals to 5, x equals to minus 1, and y will be equal to minus 2. So 2 minus 1 is minus 2. Obviously, minus 1 is greater than minus 2. So x is greater than y. So option, because x is minus 1 and y is minus 2 and minus 1 is greater than minus 2. Hence, option A is correct. Now, x over 2 minus 2 is greater than x over 3. So we can write this as x over 2 minus x over 3 is greater than 2. So this would be 3x minus 2x over 6 is greater than 2 and x will be greater than 12. So we know that x is greater than 12. 12 and uh, hence option A is correct. 3R minus 5X equals to 17. 2R minus 6S equals to 7. So we need to find out the average of R and C. So we need to find out this number. Now if you look closely, if you add both of these, uh, if you subtract both of these equations, so this would be 3R minus 5S equals to 17 and 2r minus 6s equals to 7. So this would be minus, this will become positive, this will become negative. So this will become r, this will become s, and this will become 10. So the average would be r plus s divided by 2, or 10 divided by 2, that is 5. So 5 and 10. So quantity b is greater than quantity a, hence option b is correct. Now, C and D are both positive, very important, and we need to find out which quantity is greater. So 1 over C equals to 1 plus 1 over D. We can write this as 1 over C minus 1 over D equals to 1. Now, which quantity would be greater, C or D? Now, obviously, we need to have a positive number over here. And whenever we divide, whenever we divide, so if C is less than D, then this number would be greater than 
1 over d. So if c is less than d, for example, if c is 2 and d is 4, so 1 upon 2 is 0 0.5 and 1 upon 4 is 0 0.25. So this is going to give you a positive number. So over here, when we divide 1 by 2, we get a number 0.5. And when we divide 1 by a greater, a higher number than 2, we get an even smaller number. So over here, this 1 over C needs to be a high number and 1 over D needs to be a small number. So high number minus small number gives a positive number. So one thing for sure that C needs to be greater than D. So option A is correct. Sorry. Yeah, so my mistake. So I said it the opposite. So as I've said before, C needs to be less. So C needs to be less than D. So that if C is less than D, then 1 over C would be actually a higher number. And when D is a greater number than C, so it will actually give you a smaller number as compared to 1 over C. So one thing for sure that C needs to be less than D. So C is less than D. So option B is correct. Again, practice, practice, practice in order to get a perfect score. Thank you very much.